Hello and welcome my beautiful Pisces. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of November the 4th to the 10th. As you know, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single mermaid and merman out there, but some of it will, so throw the rest out into the deep blue ocean um, and only accept what's coming your way and that you know, means something to you. Now, if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, yes, I do still do per, uh, readings, private readings. Just click that button on the front of my video. It'll take you directly to my website where you can see the services I offer, the prices that I charge, the calendars there to book it, and the PayPal button. So, uh, it'll let you know what I have available. Okay, let's see what we've got, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces. We've been given the card, answer the door, it could be opportunity knocking. Okay, so uh, this could be a week where you're going to get some uh, some results for your hard work and efforts. You may be out there pounding the pavement. You might be, you know, uh, boots on the ground looking for something new to do. Uh, you could be creating your own beautiful future. So there are going to be doors of opportunity if you stay focused and go towards your goals. Okay, don't be afraid to make the first call. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, keep pursuing. I always say that the greasy, the, the squeaky hinge gets the grease. Okay, so be the first one to make the call. Go after what it is you want. And there could be opportunity coming in this week that you are going to be amazed about. Coming in with in the beginning of the week, you've been given the beautiful canary spirit. So it's saying, sing your own tune, my beautiful Pisces. You're so unique. You're so gifted. You're so talented. And know that, you know, this is your time. You have an authentic voice and you can express what you want the world to know. Now's the time to let that world know who you are, who you really are, okay? Um, you know, you're free to be yourself and express your most desires that you really want to see come into you. The world wants to hear your song. Okay, so if this is about a relationship, you're being called to fully be yourself. And, you know, and that's the only way. Don't settle. Don't play it small. Don't just, um, don't, as I say, don't settle. You're worthy of better and more. You can make your own music beautifully with others. Okay, so don't be afraid to step forward and sing your song, right? Find your voice and have that courage to spread your wings and sing out loud. The world needs a song like yours, my beautiful Pisces. So don't be afraid to go out there, spread your wings, puff out that ch those chest feathers and sing your song. Let your truth be revealed. Let them know how you feel and what you have to offer. Coming in with that is you. Here we are. Here's our card, the moon. We are the moon card, right? And this is all about us trusting our own guidance and our own advice over the advice of others. We are very intuitive and we need to trust our intuition. When we feel these feelings, we need to act on them and often they're 100% true. So we're discovering unknown information as well. Sometimes with the moon card, we hear about things coming in. The answer, you know, the, you know, the, there could be an opportunity here where we're going to be able to see the truth step forward, right? A secret's going to be revealed here. But you could also be sharing something very intimate and secretive with some person that you trust, like a friend. You know, other, you know, you're finding the truth in a situation. Trust your intuitive abilities because they're at their peak right now and you can completely believe in the level of accuracy and trustworthiness in the information and insights you're receiving. So pay close attention, okay? Pay play co close attention to anything, like anything synchronous in synchronistic like seeing you know repeating numbers songs uh road signs uh dreams okay so pay attention to that you might have to make some changes to your plans but don't you know it doesn't indicate anything other than the need for a course direction and correction here you're moving forward you're going to find the information here that you need um trust your instincts Trust your, trust your, and trust your database, the God-given talents that you have in your, in your database, your gifts. Now, coming in with your focus part of it, you've got slow and steady wins the race. And this means to keep moving forward. Don't give up because things aren't happening fast enough, right? This is about, you know, going forward and taking your time in the process, right? So, slow and steady wins the race. That is exactly what it means. Don't give up. Don't uh, th think that you have to um, you have to change your opinion on something. But it doesn't mean that you stop doing it. Okay, you can adjust the sales and go in a new direction. Things are pushing forward here. 
All right. You can, you can, you, you need to realize that you need to think about it. Slow and steady wins a race. Rome wasn't built in a day. One step at a time. Anything worthwhile is worth waiting for and working on. So, you know, th when we get this card, it says this is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to things that you want, such as your dreams. Okay. So, um, you know, there's going to be a new thing that's coming in, my beautiful Pisces. Just wait around and watch for them, okay? Try not to be too impulsive. Try not to push issues, okay, with the situation this week. Just go with the flow. Know that it's a process, that if you take your time, you'll have more accuracy. Now, coming in with that is the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is that card that says you may feel as though you're struggling. You're having to be backed up against the wall. You may feel as though uh, you, you're, you're having to prove to the powers that be. Uh, and um, that is competing, uh, you know, trying to show everybody what you're made of here. Um, it's a card of worrying too much about details too and, and you know, competing goals. And, you know, stress can cause you can have stress caused by differing opinions okay so you could be experiencing an opportunity to learn and grow and it may seem like a challenge but the key to success is to stand up for what you know is right stay positive in your interactions with others and a peaceful resolution will come into you so make these personal choices to avoid any drama okay created around you it doesn't serve you and you don't have to be part of it okay if you're feeling at odds with yourself then gift yourself a little peaceful quiet time all right, so if you find yourself being challenged right now, stand back and take a moment to review the situation objectively. All about taking your time, okay? Not getting up in your head and pushing issues or being dragged into other people's drama when you really don't need it, Pisces. You are so non-confrontational. Coming in in the middle of the reading, which is your challenge, Ah, not much of a challenge because you're moving up, but you are increasing your power and status. You, you know, you may get a promotion or move to a better home or an office and you climb that ladder of success. So believe in yourself, Pisces. You have that ability now to see things coming into play. With that comes the lovers and the lovers is about making wise and concise, accurate choices and decisions that could be on an emotional level. Maybe you're, you're allowing your heart to choose what it is you, when it comes to these decisions. It's the lovers. It could refer to somebody in your life that you have in your life your your uh, your partner here it could be partner in love or partner in business but make wise choices here you are moving up this is a new a new thing for you uh, it, continually <clears throat> okay this is new this week but you've been moving up now for a while Pisces because you had all those things you had to deal with for the last 10 years it's your time <clears throat> enjoy it so I, for some of you, like I say, a promotion, a new job, a new job description, but you're definitely going up that ladder of success because of what you're doing. You're out there applying your effort and your investment into something. So <clears throat> I always say when the lover shows up, often it has to do with thinking through your heart, but I always say, let your head lead your heart. Okay, so be wise when making those choices and decisions. Don't let your emotions get in the way. Now, the next card you have, which is a message from your guides and spirit, you've got the card gateway and this is about you know <clears throat> there's going to be some great events that are unfolding you know almost like profound revelations are, are coming in at hand and now you know it's much easier to manifest your dreams it's an excellent time to take action on your visions for your future even a small amount of action okay will generate big results so you've heard me say small wins are still wins right and they turn into big wins so this is a beautiful card that says there's like a porthole a gateway uh you know answer that door there's opportunity there perhaps knocking right now for you to go through you will be subjected to making choices though here you almost feel as though you don't want to do this you can't make your mind up okay you're sitting there thinking oh you know i don't know if i can do this you know you, you, you you've locked horns with yourself you're thinking that this is an impossibility that you can but you can't see the trees for the forest here okay she's got a blindfold on look she's always portrayed with not seeing things clearly so she feels as though she's not moving forward and she's allowing her emotions to conflict with her mind or you know not seeing what really matters here so it's time to make a decision don't procrastinate you know, because if you're procrastination, it's going to hold you back from this progress, okay? You may feel lack of confidence in your decision making, or you may be stalling because you'd rather someone else make this decision for you, okay? So let it go, 
This is an excellent time for you to dig deep down and know what you need to do. It's a matter of gathering your willpower and just going after it, Pisces. Don't be afraid. There's a gateway of opportunity opening up. And maybe it's something totally different than you ever imagined. Maybe it's a new relationship. Someone who you thought, oh, you know, I can't believe that they're interested in me. I didn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. Could be a new job, a new career, opening your own business, taking that beautiful, bold jump into that new portal and gateway to go after your dreams. And guess what it's going to bring at the end? This is outcome. Happy, happy, happy. So this is a time of happiness and feeling better about life in general, right? Joy and contentment, fulfillment. You know, everything is well. Your desires are effortlessly being fulfilled now. So enjoy the moment, okay? Whatever's happening in, in your life, feel satisfied and enjoy it. I think you're going to have some fun coming into you as well. And it brings you such great liberation, okay? This is wonderful. You know, I think you're taking pride also in your accomplishments, okay? Doing good work and providing exceptional services. You know, you're going to be well compensated for the time and effort and blood, sweat and tears you're putting in and investing into this. Okay, the world rains gratitude on you now, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, and you're going to be happy with the results for the efforts you've been making. So this is beautiful. And why wouldn't you not get this card? Why wouldn't we get this card? I mean, this is amazing that it landed, you know, right here. I flip them over as they come out. Boom. I don't know. You know, they don't get moved around. Six of Wands, victory after hard work and struggle. So you're getting, you're going to see the rewards for the hard work you've put out there. And people are gonna notice you now. Maybe you're getting more business generated to, or more clientele generated to your business. Maybe your sales are going up. Um, you know, maybe word of mouth is sending you more customers because of the good work that you do. And you're going to see now that you're going to get that respect and you're going to get those that 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 kickback, right? The rewards coming in for your hard work and efforts. For some of you, you may have taken something stylistically and you've passed, you've got a degree in something or your master's in something or uh, you've got something to add to your skills on your resume. And again, there's a reason to get notice for that. This is the card of victory for all the work you put out there. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, let's see what we got in addition to this reading. I'm excited about it. It's beautiful. We just have to keep moving forward and slow and steady wins the race. One foot in front of the other. We don't want to force issues because when we do, we can sabotage ourselves, right? So let's see. Opportunities knocking at the door. We need to answer it. Pay attention. Okay, so in the beginning of the week, there's our opportunity. Bam. Okay, so aces are the beginnings of new things. This is the ace of prosperity, I call it. This is the card that says, hey, go through that gate. Answer that door. You could be getting a raise, a job description, money, a windfall. Uh, you know, new opportunities presenting themselves that are beautiful. Coming in with your your focus part of your reading, you've got <clears throat> this the six of pentacles. Now, the six of pentacles is that give, take, push, pull, negotiating type of energy. Um <clears throat> You could be receiving something uh, that you feel is very generous. Somebody could be stepping up and giving you time, effort, support, or maybe even money. You could be receiving, but you could also be the you could be the recipient, or you could be the person that's initiating that move to help someone else. So this is beautiful. Uh, don't be afraid this week because I think your struggles are gonna you know are gonna pay off. Okay, you're finally gonna see something come in here uh, that's gonna pay off. It's gonna be fair. Coming in with the lovers in the center, your challenge, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Boy, Pisces, you know, this is coming up, Roses. Page of Pentacles, new beginnings again, taking those steps towards something new here. You're moving up the ladder, and this is good news. Pages bring us messages. This is good news about money, prosperity. You know, you're going to hear about something that's going to be lucrative for you. Coming in with your messages from spirit and not wanting to make that decision. You know, it's time to step up. Uh, go through those those opportunities because the five of pentacles is that card of challenge but also finding the resources to resolve those challenges and that means go through those doors um, because opportunity will be there to give you what you want it usually portrays um, you know somebody walking with crutches in the rider weight um, deck and the traditional deck and, and a woman you know all bundled up with her head down in the snow thinking she's been left out in the cold she can't move forward how's things going to get better well the one with the crutches went out obviously and got help and now he's, he's he can move forward he says hey I, now I can go after my new beginning so this is about you not internalizing not holding things in because Pisces we're good at that right when things don't happen fast enough we start to get up in our head do the stinking thinking presume and assume that you know it's not going to work out for us this is a card that says if you can't solve that problem 
go through those doors where you can get the help. If it's finance, you go to the bank or your or your your payroll or your boss or you know your accountant. <clears throat> Whatever the case is, uh, if it's if it's a personal issue, don't be afraid to lean into somebody who you can trust for counsel. Maybe even therapy can help. Okay, our outcome. Hoo -hoo. Here you go. I love it. So not only do we have victory after hard work and struggle, we have the, the chariot. The chariot is that card that says you're charging now towards your goals and your success. You come out a winner. Okay, you come out the champion. You are going the distance now to, and you're applying that effort. And this is why you're seeing the success come in. You're not sitting there on your backside and daydreaming because we are the biggest dreamers out there. You're not sitting there doing that and just flowing and swimming around in the waters. You're actually heading in a direction now and you've made your mind up. You're answering those doors of opportunity and you're going after what it is you want. And because you believe in yourself and because you apply that energy, Pisces, you get it. So you're coming out the winner at the end of the day and a champion. Whoa, I love this. Well, being a Pisces, I'm glad that our reading turned out this way. Listen, everybody, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces.